Hello again, YouTube. This is Axis0096 with another YouTube video, this time on the subject of my personal favorite Gundam and the start of its revitalization in the mid-80s, specifically around my birthday. Cool for 1985's Mobile Suit Gundam Double or Single Zeta, or as we all know it is, Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta. Now, as many fans know, in Gundam 0083, a later series, the Titans took over the Federation government. Now we see the outcome of the One Year War through a corrupted and shattered reality for the Federation. The outcome of the One Year War was supposed to be a lot more pleasant than this. However, many of our heroes, such as Amaro Ray, are now living either A as hostages under house arrest being watched by the government like hawks or are being treated as flat-out criminals in the case of Shar, who's now part of the anti-earth union group also known as the AUG. now our story begins in the colony area known as green noah this is part of side i believe seven if, it, if I'm wrong, people can correct me. It also contains Grips, also known as Green Noah 2. This whole scenario starts to go south as soon as those the Gundam Mark II, also known as the RX-78-178-2, is deployed. The Titans were... In intentionally created to mop up Zeon's remnants. They were not created to be a pacifist army. They were meant to instigate revolts and rebellions. They were never intended to be a friendly sort. Definitely one of the darker Gundams of the Universal Century timeline. The series is probably one of the better ones that Tamino is known for, especially under his pseudonym that we all know very well as Kill 'em All Tamino. He's known for this because of the sheer number of casualties in many of his series. Zeta Gundam is no exception. By the end of the show, fully more than 60% of the series' characters have died horrible ends. And it just escalates from that until 1993, it's Victory Gundam, where it reaches pretty much a crescendo until Iron-Blooded Orphans. Zeta Gundam still holds its, pretty much its technological marvel. I mean, it took a long time for anything to rival its complexity of narrative and plot. Also, the mech designs, taking a basic Gundam and enhancing it for enhanced maneuverability, it started the whole weapons upgrades. For example, the civilian Camille Bidon started out with an RX-178 AU Custom Mark II, and then later upgraded to the Gundam Zeta, or the Zeta Gundam, the MS the MSZ-006 Zeta Gundam, which he actually personally designed. It's cool seeing that this is the first series in which the pilot starts out with a basic Gundam and then upgrades to a more powerful unit. This started that trend. Now, it's funny that I'm talking about this because the show now is approaching 32 I turned 32 in October, and the show <laughs> is that old. However, it still holds its age very well. If anything, I would love to see a lot more UC titles done, even if it's Crossbones or Victory Gundam. If there are any other UC fans out there, please give a shout out. I don't care. Char also has many things going on in this show. It's not mentioned much, but he and Amaro clearly have open wounds toward each other. And there are many moments where it's clear they will not settle this until the fight is over between them. 
which of course every fan knows is coming very, very soon in a couple of years down the road. Anyways, this is Axis0096 saying you will see the tears of time.